Are you getting invited for cybersecurity interviews but you cannot seem to advance to the next stage? Have you finished your training and are now looking to hit the job market but you don't know how to do it properly? If that's the case, make sure to watch this video till the end because I'm going to answer all your questions around cybersecurity interviews and give you some free gifts as well. So stay tuned. Interviewing is its own skill. You might have spent countless hours earning certifications or learning the technical aspects, but if you cannot impress the hiring manager or get the attention of a recruiter or a HR personnel, all your hard work will be for nothing. Even now, with years of IT experience in the industry and no need for a job, I still practice my interviewing skills. I have read multiple books on influencing people and honing interviewing skills. If you're someone who struggles with confidence and communication, you have to work on your soft skills. If you don't do that, you will struggle in the job hunting phase and interviewing process. Remember, if I can do it with English as my second language, you can do it too. Yes, it's going to be hard and it's going to take time, but you can do it. Now, let's dive deeper into what the cybersecurity interview process typically looks like and how you can successfully navigate it. The cybersecurity interview process typically unfolds in two stages. The first one is a screening process that is conducted by a HR person or a recruiter. And the second one is an interview with the hiring manager who will decide whether you will get the job or not. I'm here to share some tips and tricks to help you get a better handle on the job hunting process in your cybersecurity journey. Imagine you have the perfect CV. You have applied for a role or contacted someone on LinkedIn who is impressed with your skills and, and knowledge. Now they want to chat with you more about the job. At this stage, the HR personnel or recruiter has a general idea of your skill set and your past experiences based on your CV. But they need to confirm if you are the right fit for them. Remember, their job is not to find a job for you, but to actually find the right talent for the company. So don't think they owe you anything. That's not the case, guys. They're just in it for the money and they're trying to find the right talent for the business owners and the hiring managers. Okay, don't forget that. Now, most of the time, the first question they're going to ask from you is, hey, John, tell me a little bit about yourself. Unfortunately, many people mess up here by rambling about their personal lives, their hobbies and stuff like that. Remember, the recruiter or HR person doesn't care about you or your past experiences in your life or any of that. They want to know if you are the right candidate based on your skill set and the value that you can bring to the company. I always recommend people to prepare for this question because the way you answer this question is going to make or break the deal. This is your elevator pitch. Your response should be aligned with the job description and the relevant skill that the company is looking for. No more talk about your hobbies, or your personal experiences, none of that. You're actually here to sell yourself and your skill set. For example, if I want to give an introduction about myself to the hiring manager or uh, HR personnel, I would say something like this. Hey, I'm Sohel. I'm a cybersecurity engineer with more than 10 years of experience in the IT industry. I'm specialized in network security, cloud security, and endpoint security. I've worked with different vendors, including CrowdStrike, Palo Alto, Fortinet, and all the other cool stuff. You see, my answer is only is a general generic one, but when I'm applying for a role, I want to make sure that my answer is customized based on the job description. So you want to do that as well. Let's say if you're applying for a pen testing role, you want to make sure that your answer is aligned to the pen testing role, not security analyst or engineering roles. Cool. After you have handled the initial stage of the recruitment process and moved on to the next stage, the hiring manager is going to exactly ask you the same question. Tell me about yourself. You must practice your answers multiple times and deliver them confidently without hesitations like um, eh, oh, and stuff like that. You must think of the interviews as if your life depends on it. 
don't forget that. Now, a lot of people ask me questions around like, how can I handle technical questions? When it comes to technical questions, honesty and uh, expertise are key. You need to be really good at what you do to stand out. Remember, you're competing against other people for the same job. Companies are looking for the best candidate in the shortest amount of time. To help you prepare for technical interview questions, I've included the list of common cybersecurity analyst interview questions in the comment section. Make sure to download them and go through them before your cybersecurity interviews. In addition to that, inside that package, I've included a CV template that you can use in your job hunting phase as well. Make sure to check them out. Me personally, if I want to handle technical questions, I always use the STAR method. Situation, task, action, results. This approach helps you structure your answer uh, clearly and impressively. For example, if you are asked about analyzing a phishing email, describe the situation where you identified the suspicious email, the task of investigating its source, the action you took to mitigate the threat, and the result of your intervention. This method not only demonstrates your technical abilities, but also your problem-solving skills in the context of the real-world scenarios. Alright guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. This is going to make sure that I reach out to more people on YouTube so I can help them with their cybersecurity journey. Keep in mind that interviewing is a whole different skill set that needs to be developed. It won't just happen by itself. I know many skilled people who struggle to land a good cybersecurity job with a good salary because they lack the necessary communication skill and soft skills to demonstrate their worth and value in the job interviewing process. At the end of the day, your job in the interview is to convince the hiring manager that you are the person for the job and you are the ultimate solution to their problems. To be honest with you guys, attitude is far more important than hard technical skills. If the hiring manager sees something in you and is convinced that you can get the job done in a perfect way, you're going to get that job. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.